I've updated my device. You can see the notification here that your Apple Watch is up to date and software wise, these are the changes. So if we go into the settings and then go to the about, you'll be able to see that the build number we have here has been updated to 20S. 5049D. So now this build has a D at the end and before we had an E. So we took in a sense one step in the positive direction. That's a good move. Now when it comes to the new features and changes that this update has to offer, there's actually quite a bit and if we open up our app store here on the apple watch we get a glimpse of some of the applications that are going to be available on the new apple watch ultra that's coming out in about two days so if you search for siren so we search for that and then when you click search right there you will see that this result shows up but that's not the siren that we want this is the siren that's made by apple and you see that it's a utility and if you click on it you can see you know the app but since this is a series 7 you can see that i can't be able to get it and this is not the ultra it's not supported on this watch but you can see there that it shows how it's going to basically look like and emergency and the battery percentage and the slider right there so you can see how the siren will look like but not only that you can also see how the depth app will look like so if you go back here and search for depth just like that and then put app and search you also be able to see how this new depth app is going to look and you can see it right here so you have the option to view it you can see for me also i don't have the option to get it because this is a series 7 series 7 isn't supported it's for the ultra and you can see basically record depth submerge apple watch and once your apple watch is underwater you get a screen like this that shows you how many feet or depending on the like settings that you put it could be feet it could be meters or so on that you be below sea level so you can see it here and this is basically the new apple watch faces that are going to be coming with the new apple watch ultra now that's not all in fact we do have an update when it comes to some of the new watch faces that are going to be available for the apple watch ultra exclusive watch faces and those ones you can see here if i was to go over on twitter i'll just show you since i tweeted about this and thanks to my friend steve moza over on twitter who managed to tweet about this so you notice that when it comes to the new apple watch ultra finally apple is changing the names of the apple watch ultra watch faces colors now ultra orange ultra blue and ultra yellow so those are the new ultra watch face names that apple has adopted starting with this watch os 9.1 that's something that's great now also when it comes to crash detection this apple watch isn't supported but i noticed that apple has made a change when it comes to watch os 9.1 and the latest ios beta so if you go into your health app you can see my health app here go to the summary section and go to where it shows basically your uh, health checklist click on there and then go all the way down you will see that you know you have features that aren't available for your apple watch series or for your iphone series that you have before i actually used to have two features that were not available but now it's just one and you can see that when it comes to crash detection it's now available thanks to the latest ios version ios that has been updated too and although it's not available on watch os 9.1 for the apple watch series 7 it doesn't have those sensors but you can see that they have added it here that is something that's good now also when it comes to siri i'll be happy to show you that uh, you know siri is no longer like detecting as many times as it used to be whenever it will be like so far away you can see here for some reason it did detect but let me lower my risk and then when i raise up my risk let me just cancel siri lower and then when i raise up you can see i'm speaking i'm like about 30 to 40 centimeters away from my face before i would lower lower my my wrist and then every time i raise it up siri would just pick me up all the time but it seems like for some reason it's a bit less responsive than before but as you can see it's still picking up my voice but it's not as as responsive as it was on watch 9.1 beta 1 
that's a fix in a sense and also something that i wanted to show you when it comes to this update it has to do with the battery since the battery hasn't been really that great when on watch 9.1 so you can see my maximum health hasn't dropped it's still on 92 percent but the battery performance on watch 9.1 i'm not happy with it so if it's something that you are also experiencing then help me and let's help each other explain and report this issue to apple so that they can best optimize their os to be able to uh, work better with this watch 9 and our apple watch series also someone requested that i test this out so check this out siri i will just ask Siri what the time is what's the time it's 6.36 p.m. Okay, so Siri's voice is normal. But when I do the quick two finger tap to tell the time, I'll try that again with my two fingers. Okay, so it still has that robotic sound. And for some reason, I did report it to Apple, but it seems like it's not yet resolved. And let me know if this is something that you're experiencing and which Apple Watch series you are experiencing on it. Now, that's also something I thought I should let you know of. When it comes to connectivity on the Apple Watch, I'll be happy to let you know that some apps and watch faces are connecting better than before but for some reason i'll just show you my apple watch application here you can see when i open it up oh it seems like the bug is gone every time i would open up this watch app i i uh, probably restarting my phone fixed it but every time i would open it up after updating i would get a notification that's telling me to turn on my wi-fi and bluetooth to connect to the apple watch even though it's connected and you can see all is on so that was a bug that i was experiencing but for some reason it seems to have cleared itself and if you do probably restarting your devices or power cycling them will resolve that issue that's uh, a great thing now when it comes to the cellular watch face there's connectivity issues and also for some user privileges that have changed and wording changed so if you try to access privileges that are available only to those that have the cellular apple watch face then apple has changed some of the text and wording to depict you know what that it's exclusive privileges and that is something that you will be able to see if you have a cellular watch face you can see mine is just gps only so i can't really show you much and also when it comes to workout and activities i'll be happy to let you know that if you use the british english uh, as your default set language then apple has updated some of the phrases for example where apple would say like workout done or activity done it has changed that phrase from done to complete so instead of saying you know workout done it says workout complete but that's something that you'll be able to see if you use the british english as your default set language now other than that <laughs> Now, other than that, those seems to be the new features and changes that are here with WatchOS 9 or at least the second beta. Not many are here, but at least, you know, they are trying to fix some of the issues. And uh, although some of them are still here, like the robotic f sound that you see here, other than that, now other than that those seems to be you know some of the changes that are here with watch west 9.1 beta 2 some of the issues of course like this are still existing so give it some time and report the issues that you experience and when it comes to the release notes of this update i do have something that i want to show you here for example if you go to where it says uh watch west 9 point one beta two you will be able to see that there's a known issue when it comes to connectivity and uh, memory allocation where sometimes the device might allocate more than enough space to certain activities so keep an eye on your storage before you update and after you update if this is something that you're going to be trying out now other than that if you think of uh, the next update which is watch os 9.1 beta 3 since we are on a weekly release cycle beta 1 was on the 14th beta 2 you can see is on the 20th beta 3 most probably on the 27th or between the 27th and the 29th that's when i can expect that and then when it comes to beta 4 of course the next week and then maybe we might get a beta 5 or a 
rc but when that time comes i'll be able to cover it for you here on the channel at half men half tech and i will also be covering most of these updates that apple released today like mac os and ios so if that's something that you're interested in and you want to keep up to date then definitely do subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace